journey women welcome back i hope you're having a good week i hope you're feeling good in your body today i want to talk about something that's really been on my mind since i attended the fat disorders resource society conference fdrs um, last month and that's lipedema research and what we as patients can do to help researchers better understand what causes lipedema what works um, to keep us healthy what makes us feel good um, what's promising? How does it get transmitted? What makes you get lipedema? All of those sorts of things, right? Um, so today I want to share a couple opportunities to participate in research, including one that anyone watching can do at home in about an hour. Um, so I'm going to share three in-person opportunities for folks in the U.S. who might want to participate in something like that if it's near them, and then one that really anyone watching is able to do. Um, before I do that, though, I want to say a big welcome to all of our new subscribers. We are so happy to have you in our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe below, and then make sure you click the little bell, and you'll get a notification each week when I post a new Sturdy Woman video. And then if today's information or anything else on the channel is helpful to you, please do like and share so that we can reach more women and give them hope and help on their lipedema journey. Okay, so I'm going to roll through these first three really quickly. Um, and if you are nearby those locations or have more interest, all the links are going to be below in the description and you can click there, reach out to them, get more information or do a quick survey and see if you potentially qualify. So one of them is in Nashville, Tennessee at Vanderbilt um, and that one they are looking at MRIs. So you, you have to be willing to do an MRI and be scanned. The second one is at Louisiana State University um, in Baton Rouge at the Pennington Biomedical Research Center. And then the third one is at Washington University in St. Louis, and they are looking at um, weight loss and nutritional interventions. So I'll put the links for the, all three of those below and you can click and see. Um, I do wanna encourage you before signing up for anything like that, please do talk to your doctor, make sure that they agree um, it's something that's a good idea for you. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a researcher, I'm just a woman with lipedema like you. Um, so, you know, get some advice before you enroll in any of these. Um, the last one, though, is available to anyone anywhere with an internet connection, and that is participation in the Lipedema Foundation Patient Registry. So what this is, is a survey, and I, I did it. It took me almost exactly 45 minutes. They say it takes 30 to 60, so that's perfect. Um, and all you do is log into this secure portal, enter your information, um, and then they ask you questions like when do you when did you first notice signs of lipedema? Um, you know where on your body do you have it? What stage do you think you are? Were you diagnosed by a doctor? Does anyone else in your family have lipedema? Um, and they started collecting this data in 2019, and. Last year, 2022, they published their first report with this data, and it's called Learning by Listening, Early Findings from the Lipedema Foundation Registry. And it captures data from 521 of the first surveys completed. Um, and I really, really wanna encourage you to consider entering your information. If even one third of the people who subscribe to Sturdy Women, to Sturdy Women go over and register, we will double the amount of data that they have. Um, and the more data that they have, the more they can tease out these smaller things and, and see some of these connections um, that are really just starting to emerge. Um, there are a couple things that I just want to highlight, and I was originally going to pull out all kinds of things from this report for you, but it's only like 10 to 15 pages long. There are great infographics, and rather than pull out what I think is interesting, I really just want to encourage you to go over and look at it for yourself. I'm going to put a link both for the registry and for the report in the description 
I will say this, what I'm about to share with you really just took my breath away um, when they shared it at FDRS. And that is that the majority of women report first noticing symptoms in puberty. That's when I did. Maybe that's when you did. Um, and particularly ages 12 to 14. Um, so first signs, most women are saying, yeah, I remember first noticing I had lip edema, didn't know the word probably, but knew something was happening with my body when I was in puberty. Then most women report not trying to get medical help for 17 years. So after the first sign of symptoms, most women wait 17 years before they start talking to doctors and trying to get help. Then it's another 10 years before women are actually able to get a lipedema diagnosis. So first sign in puberty, 17 years later, first starting to talk to doctors, another 10 years later, finally getting a diagnosis. I have a feeling that timeline feels really similar to a lot of familiar to people watching the video. And I really just wanna plug that by helping put our information out for research, doing things like participating in the registry, we can hopefully help shorten that timeline for the women and people coming after us. And I say people because that's another one of the data points that stuck out to me um, that we almost never talk about. And that is that there are 10 case studies, and I'll have to see if I can read more about this because I don't know anything. There are 10 case studies of men being diagnosed with lipedema, and three of them participated in the survey um, and, and are part of these results. And then they say six to seven percent of people who have completed the survey report having a male family member who potentially had lipedema like symptoms. Um, I definitely, my younger brother always looked very similar to my body, had swelling, potentially had lipedema like symptoms. Um, I heard people saying at FDRS that they think it's possible symptoms just look different in men, that maybe not that men don't get it, but that it presents so differently that it's not recognized at all, right? It's like barely recognized in women. Um, so those sorts of questions. And so starting to report those sorts of things can give researchers clues of where to look um, and, and what to investigate next. So they also, um, and again, please go over and read the report for yourself. They list um, prevalence of other comorbidities that women um, and, and other um, kind of conditions that women report having along with lipedema, everything from hypothyroid, lymphedema, anemia, knee problems, spider veins, varicose veins. There's just like a giant list. Um, and then different treatments that women report trying and did it help with pain? Did it help with their body shape? Um, all of those sorts of things are in that report. And again, I'm gonna click, um, put the link for you below. Um, so that's the Lipedema Foundation Registry. And if even one third of you go um, and take that 45 minutes to fill it out, we will double the amount of data that they have to work with. Um, there is an option at the end if you are comfortable uploading photos, you can do that, but again, it is optional. Um, as part of the registry, you can consent to be contacted um, or receive information about clinical studies that are enrolling, um, to receive follow-up surveys from Lipedema Foundation about how your condition is changing over the years. So really participation in the registry kind of connects you into um, learning more about research opportunities and ways to participate. So it kind of connects you into this wider system. So if that's of interest, I'm putting all the links below. 
Um, and please, even if you don't want to participate, go over and read that report. Um, I have a feeling there's a lot in there that will validate your experience and, and maybe even help some things make, make sense that have never made sense before. All right, um, if you're aware of other great articles or research opportunities or things like that, feel free to put them below in the comments um, so that we can all learn more from each other. Mwah. I'll see you next week. Thank you.